Good morning. Yeah. Why isn't that focusing? Focus. Focus. Oh, I don't focus. There we go. Yeah, hey, so good morning. Uh, I'm recording this on a different camera than I usually do, so um, apologies that I'm still trying to figure out the whole autofocus thing. Uh, today I am doing a quick co cool unboxing of the Anchor Thunderbolt Dock. This is. Um, that what it's called. It's an Anchor Thunderbolt Dock. Um, there is a name for it. I just can't remember what it is off the top of my head. So model A8396. So ah power expand power expand elite 13 in 1 Thunderbolt 3 dock. So the reason I got this is because finally after nearly six months of waiting my MacBook Pro uh, M1 Pro Max uh fine or M1 Max M1 Max yeah, M1 Max finally arrived. And I need a proper docking station for it, so I decided to pick this one up. Now, it wasn't until after I bought this that I realised there's the possibility that this doesn't play well with M1 Max or M1s. So we will find out. So here we go. This is the actual unit itself. It's actually heavier than I thought it was going to be. So we have on the front, so let's have a quick look, we have a power button, we have micro SD, full SD, USB-C, two USB-C, one of them is actually listed as power delivery, specifically says USB 10 gig, so they must be actual USB-C, headphone jack, there's a USB-A port and that says it is a 5 gig. USB A port. Uh, on the side, it's metal. The whole thing is made of like a nice metal finish. As I drop the thing. Now, on the back, we have Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt with display, HDMI, power, gigabit Ethernet, and then three USB A ports. Now, so, just check to see what that said. So they are all three of those USB A ports are five gig. Um, the Thunderbolt, this port here. Come on, focus. This port here is an eighty-five watt uh, port, and this one is just a standard Thunderbolt. So I'm guessing laptop plugs into this. And then if your laptop plugs into this, this will provide 85 watts of power to charge your laptop. And then you plug your monitor, keyboard, mouse, whatever else you need to plug into this thing. And all is good. Now, as I said, this is... It's not heavy. Well, yes, it is heavy. Okay, so it's made of metal. It feels proper. It is a nice bit of kit. Okay, so let's see what else we've got in the box. So you've got the standard anchor, happy, not happy manual, so you can go off and give them uh, recommendations. You've got a welcome guide, which we can ignore. We have a quick start guide. And we have an accessories under the box. Thing. Okay, so we take this out. Uh, accessories under the box. Right. Don't need that. Throw it away. So, okay, so here we have our adapter. So it's not quite kettle plug, but it's the Mickey Mouse ears, Mickey Mouse plug. I don't know what you call that. C13, I think it is. Could be wrong. Anyway, looks like Mickey Mouse. Um, we've got a paper. You have a power supply. Yeah. Okay, so that's how uh, as I'm pressing random buttons on this. I didn't want to know that. Okay. 
Right. There is nothing else in the box. So, let's go somewhere else. On the floor. So, okay, we are back. We have a Thunderbolt 3 cable. Uh, three on either end, it would kind of have to be. We have a power adapter. Um, what is this power adapter? It is... I'm not sure if I can see it on the screen. 180 watts. It's 180 watt uh, power adapter. So literally, so in the box you get power brick couple of manuals which you can ignore well I'm going to ignore you probably some people might need to read them so you got your power brick you've got your about dock and you have your USB 3 adapter so let's have a look and see if we can get this thing hooked up shall we All right. Okay, so we are back, and I can say that yes, the big monitor which is hooked up through the docking station is working perfectly. So, I do have a couple of different things done with the docking station. So, right, so first things first, it's kind of in an awkward position. I do have to rearrange a lot on my desk, but anyway, long story boring. So, there's two USB 3 ports on the back that are currently being used. One is going to this external docking st or this external hard drive enclosure, well SSD enclosure. And then the other one is going to this USB hub. And the reason for that is that's a USB 3 port and I mostly use this for plugging in USB 2 devices if that makes sense. So my headphones are currently hooked up to there and I don't want to use just a dedicated USB 3 port for USB 2 devices. But, I'm sorry boring, we have our single Thunderbolt port. I have another USB-C, which I'm actually going to... Let's have a quick look actually here. So, where are we? Stream SSD. So, eject that. It's not ejected. Eject. Why aren't you ejecting? Okay, so it looks like it's gone at the moment. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's gone. So if I unhook this cable, right, it's plugged into Seagate or a SanDisk, an external SanDisk. Um, do hickey. If I then go and plug that into, so I don't want to use the power delivery one. I'm just going to use the standard one. So if I plug that in there, bit of an awkward way of mounting it because obviously where that cable is, and everything else, laptop monitor won't open. Okay, it's not showing up yet. I'm wondering am I missing drivers here? That's a question. I don't know. Anyway, um, I will figure that one out at some stage. So, um, I'm going to unhook this again anyway while I'm at it. Um, so, yeah, so the docking station. So, I'm not using the Ethernet port just yet. Um, my, I've, um, the, the Micro Pro is connected fully wireless at the moment. But to have extra couple of extra USB ports, have so the MacBook Pro already has a micro SD or um, a full SD card slot, but to have an extra SD card slot and a micro USB or micro SD card slot is definitely handy. There's another question, right? So this is currently charging it's on a power source right which is this one here I yoink that cable 
right? So now we are on there. It is telling me we are fully charged, but we do have a power adapter. So yes, it is charging. Happy days. So this is just a quick unboxing and a quick overview of how we've hooked mine up. Um, I will probably have a quick review um, as such in the next couple of days once I do some more testing. Once I figure out where exactly on my desk this is going to live and everything else. Um, I'm going to apologise before I finish up about my voice. Um, I was, what you call it, I uh, contracted COVID in the last couple of days. So um, I've still... I'm still recovering from that, so um, yeah, the the voice is a bit not great at this stage, but anyway. So there we go. Um, the anchor upstream power. How was it called? The power expand elite elite thirteen and one Thunderbolt three dock. So there we have it. And yes, it does work with a MacBook Pro uh, that has the M1 Max chip in it. Um, it says it's not compatible with the M1, but it seems that that might be a limitation of the M1 uh, machines. This, on the other hand, is fully compatible. So, well, at least so far it is. So, uh, if you have any questions, comments, blah de blah, uh, leave them in the the script or leave them in the questions uh, if you want to buy one of these there will be links in the show notes uh, affiliate links in the show notes um like subscribe comment all that good stuff and um yes i will see you in the next one thanks for watching and uh, good luck